Hi guys, okay, I just filmed a really quick um, YouTube video for my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna put a little color on my lips real quick because they were feeling a little bit dry. I'm using a little bit of the Solstice Lip Balm, not Lip Balm, Solstice Face Balm. That's right there, Solstice. It's a color you can kind of put kind of on your cheek like this. It just gives a really pretty little luminous pink glow. Isn't that pretty? And I'm mixing it with a little bit of um, Boardwalk. Super pretty, right? And of course, all of this can go on my face, so we're not gonna waste. Let's tap that beautiful, that beautifulness right there. Okay, but what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to, I've been asked to show my under eye video with the two products that I sort of have discovered and fallen in love with for a really, really good under eye that lasts all day, okay? So you guys know I have several videos of under eyes. I'm gonna add this to the collection in my highlight bubbles today, so it's gonna be there. You're gonna find one that works for you the best. Oh gosh, I love this lip color. This is so pretty. All right, all right, here we go. All I have under my eyes is a tiny bit of sandy highlight because when I film my video, I just wanted to keep it quick. Um, it's really for kind of first timers. And so that's all I've done. So all I've done is kind of made a veil with my cream highlight, okay, my cream foundation. It's not super, super covered, but I don't, I don't, I'm gonna do this to really, really knock it out of the park. So we're gonna go back to the two products. I'm gonna tell you again the names of them. It's the Joa Perfect Complexion Eye Serum Concealer, J-O-A-H, and this color is FN015, okay? I think it's fair neutral. That's what that means, okay? I'm mixing it with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer Corrector, and this color is CW03. Cool warm, that can't be right because that is an oxymoron. Uh, but that's what it says, so we're gonna go with it. The reason I picked even, the, the reason I even picked this up to begin with is because of the color. It is peach. Okay, and that's how I know it's going to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little, on the back of my hand, I'm gonna make a little palette. Now this is not something you guys have to do. This is not a step you have to do. See, look how light that is. Way too light to correct anything. But the consistency of this is so good that mixed with this little peach color, do you see that, that peachy color? So good so good together like this needs to be in a bottle together somebody work that out okay i'm going to mix this together on the back of my hand i'm going to blend that beautiful light creamy serumy concealer from joa with this sort of orange color corrector okay now we're still going to take it easy i'm using the bright brush okay i'm just following the darkness following the lines of darkness. You have to move a little bit quick because the orange part of this, that NYX color, is, is a regular kind of concealer that can go dry quickly. Once it goes on your eye, it's fine, but just want, you know, when you're working with it, you want it to, you don't want it to dry out. This, the Joa is what keeps it from drying out too quickly. It's just so pretty. Okay, so I, I've used almost all of it up. I'm just gonna tap that in there. Now, if you wanna add a little more, you can. Go back and make another little cocktail of it there on the back of your hand. But I, I think I have plenty here, okay? And I'm just gonna use, it really feels nice under my eye. With mature skin, I talk about this all the time, you have got to be smart and careful about the products you're using under your eye. So always start here in this inner corner and blend it out and away. You likely don't need anything completely under your eye, just where you have the darkness. So be realistic with yourself. If you don't have any darkness in this part of your under eye, don't put anything there. I always have a little bit in this corner, so that's why I put it there, okay? I think that looks really good. 
A little bit left on my brush. You can kind of take it under your nose here if you have a little redness. It is a concealer, so it's gonna cover really well. And that's it. That just took five minutes, but probably if I wasn't talking with y'all, it would have been even faster. This still, this still feels really nice under my eyes. I mean, I'm just in natural light. Can we just give a moment of silence for that color correction? It, it didn't get rid of my wrinkles. It's nothing's gonna do that, but it's not overly bright, so it's not showcasing them, which is what I definitely do not want. I do not want my fine lines and wrinkles to be what people see, and if I put too light of a color on it, it would be highlighting and spotlighting them. The same goes for you if you have um, excess skin under your eyes, if you have maybe a, a fold or a bag of skin. You don't wanna put too light of a color there. That is the biggest mistake that you could make if that's an area of your face you don't love, don't put too bright of a color there. It is like shining a spotlight on it. So I can help you with your under eyes. If you need my help, please, please um, send me a picture. Show me your, your under eye with no makeup on. I can help you. I can show you some videos on how, particularly for your situation, uh, what might work best. But a little bit, I'll be honest, is you being committed to, t to testing a few things. You know, we all wanna be told, just go buy this and all your under eye dreams will come true. That's not it. There is not one product that is gonna work in the same way for everybody. So that's why I show you four or five different ways of, of really mastering the under eye. One of those will work, but you have to be committed to maybe testing a few and, and, and working on your technique, mostly being very light handed being very light-handed is going to be the key and using the correct color, especially if you're dealing with darkness. So I'm gonna save this so you guys can go back and reference it again. Again, just for you guys, Joa in the color FN015, the eye serum concealer with ceramides and peptides. That's why it stays so nice. It's, that's why it stays so nice. <clears throat> and then the NYX HD Studio Photogenic in CW03. This is the, the peachiest one they have, and that's why it worked for that darkness. I mean, not bad, right? And it just took a, a couple minutes. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Try these two. Let me know what you think.